Tuberculosis is a preventable and curable disease and yet it still affects millions of people worldwide. Part of the problem is a growing resistance to the drugs used to fight it. It's estimated that up to half a million new cases of multi-drug resistant tuberculosis now occur each year. I'm Dr. Javad Abdulmunem in Armenia to see how a new drug is giving hope to patients who have no other option left. Tuberculosis is an infectious disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. It kills around 1.3 million people every year and is transmitted in airborne droplets inhaled into the lungs. Symptoms include chest pain, fever, and coughing up blood. People ill with tuberculosis can infect up to 15 others through close contact a year. Without treatment, up to two-thirds of sufferers will die. Armenia has one of the highest burdens of drug-resistant tuberculosis in the world, an issue which is being targeted by a partnership between the Armenian Ministry of Health and Médecins Sans Frontières, or Doctors Without Borders. Multidrug-resistant tuberculosis, what does that mean and how does it come about? So when TB patient uh, is uh, resistant to two of the main first-line drug, then we call that TB is uh, drug resistant. The primary cause of drug resistance is the inappropriate or incorrect use of antibiotics. Missing out the drugs, taking them for not the right time. Right, but then you can get uh, drug resistant TB from uh, uh, another uh, drug resistant TB patient. So oh, so if there's a resistant strain, uh -huh. that can be spread through the population right. of itself. Right. Treating multi-drug resistant TB can take up to two years and the medication can have painful and severe side effects. Are there any difficulties for you in coming here every day? Ten months to go, halfway. Yeah. Yeah. When you finish your treatment, I'm going to come back for a haircut. No problem, huh? Good. Maria's diligence means she is no longer infectious. She now has real hope she will rid herself entirely of multi-drug resistant TB. However, globally, fewer than half of all patients who start multi-drug resistant TB therapy are cured. Dr. Seifel, I understand that multi-drug resistance is a problem, but now there's a, a, a more worrying development in tuberculosis, and that's of further resistance. Yes, um, a significant number of MDR uh, cases uh, develop further amplification of resistance. We call them XDR, mm. so XDR means extensively drug-resistant TB. Until recently, patients with extensively drug-resistant TB would have few options left. But a new drug, Bedaquiline, is the first in over 40 years to be approved for treatment. Bedaquiline is an antibacterial drug belonging to a new class of antibiotics. It is unique among the anti-tuberculosis drugs currently used in that it interferes with the function of an enzyme required by the tuberculosis bacterium to produce energy and replicate. While it has shown beneficial effects in studies, it may have severe side effects which can disturb the function of the heart and liver. Because trials are still ongoing, it can only be used for those who have no other hope, what's known as compassionate use. To be clear then, compassionate use really means that there is these patients have no other treatment option. This patient would have died. We've come to Vardan's house and he's an XDR-TB patient on compassionate use of the bedaquiline. He's asked us not to wear the masks outside and to change his name and that's a sign of the huge stigma still attached to TB. Okay. Vardan has also asked us not to show his face or any of his family. Hello. Vardan is one of 27 patients in Armenia currently being treated with bedaquiline, which he has to take daily along with a regimen of other medications. Will you tell me when you first became sick and how you felt? So how do you feel now? 
հայքին փոփոխություն կա դեպի առաջընթաց ես դեպի լավ անում եմ գնում he looks really underweight right now i dread to think how he looked before having exhausted all treatment options one of the main issues in stopping the spread of tb is ensuring patients are diagnosed early this is done at the national tb hospital so it's all negative pressure is it so there's the double door system here so it's a negative pressure ward so none of the infectious air from inside can get out it all has to be sucked in so you've got a double door system to ensure that remains in place ensuring that multi drug resistant patients don't become extensively drug resistant is a huge priority in the hospital հետո մի քանի անգամ խորոշում չես քաշում հա ու խորհը բերում ես հա as is sharing marik how to deliver a sputum sample you've got to generate a good cough and get the sputum up from your lungs so this is how you are diagnosed with tuberculosis or or tested for it put it here this there it is the other nurse can and take it all right it is Right, we're going to go to the lab and have this tested now. Love it. What a nice walk out to the lab, huh? Get some of this fresh snowy Armenian air in. And here it is, the National Reference Laboratory for Tuberculosis. Fits very well. I I think I'll take it. So this is just the very first line test. Is there tuberculosis or not? The sputum has to be looked at under microscopy. to actually visualize the tuberculosis bacterium itself. It's a little bit of a drawn out process but you stain the bacteria so you you'll make the tuberculosis look red against a background of blue. So when you look at it in the microscope you'll see them fixed there as little red splodges. Under a microscope the doctors look for the stained mycobacteria or acid fast bacilli. I found one acid fast bacilli if you want to see. I'd love to. Okay. I can definitely see that. As an additional test, a state-of-the-art machine called the Gene Expert has been developed to quickly diagnose the resistance of a common strain of TB. This machine has cut the diagnosis time from weeks down to only a few hours, meaning patients can start treatment promptly and are less likely to infect others. So the Gene Expert is pretty cool in within 2 hours this can tell us for sure that the sample is negative. and that means contagious patients won't be sent out into the community with a falsely reassuring negative result from microscopy so it's a second line test to be sure but what's even better about it is if it does find that the patient is positive at the very same time it will tell us whether the strain of tb is resistant or not to one or two of the first line drugs and in that sense it's uh, revolutionary so it does it all in 2 hours It's good, is it? Now, it is a lot of often. It hamara kai lasel er kuthak baya. It is hamara kuchma baatsa sa kam. So actually, some good news there. It's getting better. Super. Thank you. Martik will stay in the hospital until he's finished his course of treatment entirely. In a separate ward is another extensively drug-resistant patient who is coming to the end of his bedequilin treatment. Arman, hello. How are you? Badev. I'm learning Armenian balas. Arman began the compassionate use of betaquiline after failing to recover from multi-drug resistant TB. So Arman, how many times a day do you have this? Only in one come. Two times a day. And how long have you been in the hospital? Thirty two days. Gosh, so one year you've been in this room in this hospital. Shots on the day, got him in the hospital. You should see in Jamuna you which of it Arman is going to pass early. Wow, so are you able to see them at all your your parents while you're in the hospital? Where are we now with the smears and cultures for Armen? For him we have a negative smear and negative culture. It means we have successes for in this reason and uh, we are waiting just confirmation. He shot love in this girl. In he just shot the sleep. And that all happened in this last six months. Are you? This is last one. So this is well before the bedaquiline and the new regimen. Tuberculosis likes to go to the top of the lungs because that's the most aerated. It creates cavities and destruction. So you can see a perfect cavity there. So this is the latest one. That cavity is not showing up as clearly after six months of bedaquiline. 
as really good indicators. <laughs> it's nice to hear a good story. Thank you. Good luck. The development of Berequilin is hugely exciting and has offered a last line of defense to Arman, Vardan and many others. But the hope now must be that more tolerable drugs with shorter treatment regimens can be developed so that patients around the world can rid themselves of this terrible disease.